before I do that, I need to go and, and do some stuff here because I need, I need to get um, IS ready um, so we have a site to work with. So I'm just opening up IS Manager here, right clicking and creating a new website. I'm going to call it Embraco because that's what we're doing. I'm then going to find a place to put it. I've created a, a folder here called uh, WW root and underneath that I'm going to call it uh, Umbraco just to keep everything nice and tidy here. Um, I'm going to leave the host name uh, blank. Well, may, maybe not. Actually, let's let's assign a host name just to keep everything nice and tidy. Um, the reason to do it is, is usually when you have multiple websites running on IIS, which I do in this case. So it makes a lot of sense to actually uh, assign it a host name. When you do, um, it makes sense. You need to go to the host file of the local system here to uh, to uh, set it up so you can resolve it locally. And the way to do it is by opening your favorite uh, text editor here um, and finding the etc folder. Let's just so open a file. You can see here I'm in, in the C drive, I'm in Windows, I'm in System32 and you want the folder called Drivers there. You want the folder called etc and the hosts file. When you open that you'll see uh, a bunch of uh, uh, host names already set up. I'm just going to add one for the host name we just did on IIS. So we call it umbraco.dev, save that, and that'll allow us to resolve that, uh, that host name locally here. Good.